chapter number 10 of DSP. Here we will study uh, DSP system uh, analysis. We have talked about uh, uh, system analysis in the previous lecture as well. So in here we will see uh, how the system analysis is done. So <coughs> let's look at the time domain. So in the time domain when we have xn, xn as the input and the system is represented as hn, hn is the impulse response at hn and the output will be yn, right? yn is uh, xn convolution with hn. Okay. And uh, then uh, if we take a look at the uh, frequency domain, right? so when we get, take in the discrete time Fourier transform of Xn, what we are getting is X ej omega, right? Then uh, when we discrete time Fourier transform, Chain, what we are getting is h e j omega right and the corresponding y n value will be y e j omega right so therefore uh, y e j omega right that is equal to x e j omega multiplied by h e j omega okay so h e j omega that is called the frequency response right so that is called the uh, frequency response right then uh, in this frequency response if we replace ej omega by z right? uh, what we are getting is the z domain right so or else or else uh, when we do this z transformation for the time domain um, system what we are getting is x z is the input and the um, system transfer function that is h z right and what we are getting as the output is y z which is the multiplication of x z into uh, h z so you can see uh, this is the uh, uh, representation of the same system so the same system is represented in domain domain. So here uh, H Z that is the function and H E omega we call that is the frequency. So um, this transfer function, right? Uh, this is called the, actually the system function, right? So when you were given the system impulse response HN by taking the set transform of that, you can find the transfer function HZ, right? So same thing. Then uh, in here. Uh, frequency response right frequency response that is h e g omega you can find it by performing discrete time Fourier transform on h n right and by comparing these two what you can see is uh, if you substitute uh, e j omega as z to transfer function h z what you are getting is h e j omega which is the frequency response of the system system stability right so this is a very important thing because uh, so the impulse response of a stable system um, is absolutely summable right so you can see here sigma n equal minus infinity to plus infinity the magnitude of hn right 
so here what you are getting is a summation summation means a series so a series will have final <coughs> value right so if that value is less than infinity right less than infinity we call that system is uh, stable right system is stable right and for magnitude of z uh, equal 1 right uh, this is equivalent to right this is equivalent to uh, sigma n equal minus m. Uh, minus infinity to plus infinity magnitude of hn into z to the power minus n right so this is also a series right this is also a series right and in this series in this series uh, this is actually this is actually the z transform right and this series summation and that is less than infinity this is for stable system right so this means that the region of convergence of a stable system includes the unit circle right so we have learned this one in previous year as well right previously as well right so the ROC of a system, stable system includes the unit circle so what is meant by unit circle that is magnitude of z equal 1 when you are drawing it in the z plane with imaginary and the uh, real values then the causality causality we have studied previously as well right so for causal system it is hn is equal to zero for n is less than zero right that means the system is just right handed system right there's no uh, left hand value that means mm, uh, when n is less than zero hn doesn't exist right? hn hn values are zero Right, hn values are zero so uh, so it says so the impulse response of kosher system will be right sided uh, sequence right? the roc of the transfer function right uh, which is h z of a kosher system will be magnitude of z larger than a right magnitude of z larger than a Right. this is for kosher system so we will see how this is obtained actually we have this um, uh, explained uh, uh, this thing in previous lecture as well right so here the main important thing is all all poles of kosher system will be inside the uh, circle magnitude of z less than or equal a right so uh, so what he says is right here uh, when you are when you, you, we can mark you can mark the region of convergence uh, in Z plane right Z plane right and uh, the all poles of causal system right if, uh, if the system is causal the poles of that system will be inside magnitude of z equal a means they they will be inside okay, we will see what is that actually we have done that one previously as well right so we will see next uh, then um, by adding the stability and causality we call it as realizable system right? uh, realizable system because uh, if a system is unstable unstable that means the output will not be controlled it will be infinite so that is not realizable system and causal means if there are values if there are values 
uh, left hand values that means for less than n less than zero if there are values it is not able to uh, realize we, we cannot realize the system right because uh, they they will represent the time advance values right so therefore a realizable system should be stable and quotient right and uh, therefore 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 what um, uh, what we have learned is that uh, for stable and quotient we have learned the theory so so therefore therefore what we can say is for realizable systems all poles of a realizable system will be inside the unit circle right because in order to be stable system right the roc should include the unit circle right roc should include the unit circle right and 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 for causality causality the region of convergence will be magnitude of is larger than a right and the poles should include and the poles should include uh, inside that circle so when by taking both what we can say is all poles of a realizable system will be inside the unit circle in order to be a realizable system so here yeah. so by by seeing this this one this uh, non stable non causal system right so you can see roc that is magnitude is at less than a. so you can see so for realizable uh, for causal for causal system right for causal system it should be it should be magnitude of is at larger than a right so therefore this is not uh, causal and also the region of convergence which is marked by uh, which, which is which is marked in here it does not include the unit circle therefore this is first system it is non causal and non stable right then we will move on to stable causal system here what you can see is uh, what you can see is magnitude of z magnitude of z uh, larger than a that is the roc region of convergence so that will satisfy the causality right so for causal system the roc should be magnitude of z larger than a right so it is uh, it is shaded in here the roc right but that roc does not include the unit circle because unit circle is uh, inside inside that right it will not include the unit circle therefore it is a causal but it is non stable right? then we move on to stable but non causal right so uh, in in this system that right, is stable non causal uh, stability means the roc should include the um, Unit circle, so it will be satis it is satisfied in here, but for causal system, the region of convergence should be magnitude of is larger than a some in that form. But here it is magnitude of is less than a. Therefore, this is stable, but it is non-causal, right? So what we can see here is in the fourth one, in the fourth one, uh, stable and causal, right? So we'll check the conditions. So for causality, the ROC should be magnitude of is larger than a, right? So the shaded area that is the ROC, right? So it is it is magnitude of is larger than a. It is like that. So therefore, it is a quotient, right? And also that ROC region of convergence that will include the unit circle, right? So therefore, the system is that system is a realizable uh, system right that system is realizable uh, system and also and also and also um, uh, 
uh, and also there should be another thing right um, that is the poles poles of the system of the system should be should be inside that would be said equal a circ right so <coughs> uh in here so we'll see this example realizable system right so we'll take a look at the first one it is first order right first order and uh, here h is at equal b naught divided by 1 plus a1 is at to the power minus 1 and roc is magnitude of reset larger than a so magnitude of reset larger than a means that is that is quotient right that is quotient right so so here uh, that is quotient so in order to become a system stable roc should include right roc should include uh, the unit circle right so in here the roc is magnitude of reset larger than a right so a1 a1 right so therefore 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 in this thing in this thing if only if and only if magnitude of a1 is less than 1 1 the roc will include the unit circle right so that is the condition right that is the condition right so we'll, if we check where we have the pole pole will be at is it not equal minus a1 Right. So in a let's see the second order system. In the second order system, H is at D is equal to B naught divided by one plus A one is at to the power minus one plus A two is at to the power minus two. Right. So here, uh, so in here, uh, it will have right two poles. Right. One will be uh, let's say Z one and the other one is the Z two. Right. So it will be stable. Right. And realizable if on if and only magnitude of z is larger less than 1 and magnitude of z2 is less than 1 right by is that because because the pole should be the, the pole should be uh, poles poles means when we have z1 value when we substitute uh, uh, h z z1 value it will become infinite if we substitute Uh, is a two value to h is a it will become infinite right so therefore these poles should be should be inside the unit circle right it should be less than 1 right it should be less than 1 right so therefore if magnitude of z1 is less than 1 and magnitude of z2 is less than 1 then it will be stable uh, consider example 1 xn is 0.5 to the power n un plus 2 to the power n u minus n minus 1 and yn uh, again the yn value is given 6 into 0.5 to the power n un minus 6 into 0.75 to the power n un Right. So find the system's function h is it, and the impulse response h n, and determine whether or not the system is stable, and or quotient. So what we have to do in here is first we have to find x is it by taking the z transform. Then we have to find y is it uh, by taking the z transform of y n. Then y is it divided by x is it. That is H is set, right? and uh, when you are finding X is set and Y is set, you have to consider the um, uh, region of convergence as well, right? And uh, then uh, you can find you can uh, find H is set, right? And by taking the inverse Z transform, you can find H n, right? Mm. Yeah. First, see x n and by uh, when we take is a transform x is a d is equal to one over one minus zero point five to the power is a to the power minus 
one right so what is the uh, region of convergence of this magnitude of z larger than 0 0.5 right uh, then minus 1 over 1 minus 2 into z to the power minus 1 and the region of convergence is magnitude of z less than 2 right so therefore x z this is equal to uh, by by adding them these two partial fractions uh, together we can get as x z is equal to minus 1.5 into z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 to the power z minus 1 into 1 minus 2 into z to the power minus 1 right and then so we have found x z with the roc right then y n right mm -hmm. y n y n is y n uh, from y n you can find y z right so as it has found here uh, so for y z mm -hmm. y z this is equal to 6 over 1 minus 0 0.5 z to the power minus 1 right so what is the region of convergence magnitude of z larger than 0 0.5 right minus 6 over 1 minus 0 0.75 z to the power minus 1 and what is the region of convergence that is magnitude of z larger than 0 0.75 and for for so the re, two regions of convergence are magnitude of z larger than 0 0.5 and magnitude of z larger than 0 0.75 and uh, when we are taking the region of convergence magnitude of z larger than 0 0.75 it will satisfy both ROCs of both ROCs and uh, when we uh, Add them together y is at you are getting minus 1.5 to the power z minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 z to the power minus 1 into 1 minus 0 0.75 z to the power minus 1 right <coughs> so then we can find h z by dividing y z by x z then uh, um, that 1.1 1 .1 minus 0 0.5 to the power z minus 1 will cancel out what we are getting is it is said as 1 minus 2 into z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.75 into z to the power minus 1 right and 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 the region of convergence right region of convergence of this one is magnitude of z larger than 0. 7 5 right my region of convergence is magnitude of z larger than 0 0.75 that means that means uh, h z right will exist when magnitude of z is larger than 0 0.75 right um, here, uh, here because now the numerator is 1 minus 2 into z to the power minus 1 the determinant is 1 minus 0 0.75 into z to the power minus 1 right? so if we mark that region of convergence with the pole in the z plane right so you can see 0 0.75 that pole is marked here right and uh, the region so we will check for stability right so in order to be uh, stability and causality right so you can see uh, the uh, roc that uh, includes the unit circle right unit circle and also the region of convergence is like magnitude of z larger than magnitude of a so for this one magnitude of z larger than 0 0.75 right? and also inside inside in the uh, inside uh, inside the unit circle and on 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 magnitude of z equal 0 0.75 we have the pole right so therefore this system is both stable and kosher And this is a number system.
format uh, for an LDI system with transfer function HZ. The inverse system is defined as uh, GZ. GZ is equal to 1 over HZ. Right? And uh, if you multiply HZ with GZ, it is equal to 1. So GZ is the uh, inverse system. So what will happen in here is uh, since GZ is the inverse of uh, uh, HZ, um, the poles of HZ will become zeros of GZ. The zeros of HZ will become uh, poles of GZ. So here this is just a representation HZ equals C into uh, multiplication from K equal 1 to Q 1 minus beta Q into Z to the power minus K divided by denominator uh, multiplication from k equal 1 to p 1 minus a k into z to the power minus k and uh, therefore you can uh, find g z right? so what will happen in here is the g z and g z um, will have overlapping uh, region of uh, convergence area so we will see an example uh, <coughs> so uh, G Z is given 1 minus 0 0.5 into Z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.8 into Z to the power minus 1. So the ROC of this system is magnitude of Z larger than 0 0.8. Right? So therefore the inverse system is G Z. So we can take it from 1 over H Z. So it will become like this. So uh, what what is the case? In, in order the ROC of JZ to overlap with the ROC of HZ, uh, it must be magnitude of Z larger than 0 0.5. And so here when we have JZ 1 minus 0 8 into Z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 Z to the power minus 1. And so the ROC of JZ, uh, um, right? ROC of JZ. Uh, it should be magnitude of z larger than 0 0.5 so therefore uh, by multiplying uh, g z uh, by, by multiplying g z with 1 minus 0 0.5 into z to the power minus 1 uh, that will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.8 z to the power minus uh, 1 right and uh, from that one we can find the uh, uh, we can find the inverse the transform then we can find uh, g n so <coughs> in this example so estimate the transfer function of the inverse system of this right so here you were given a chain right so uh, We'll take a look at from the starting point. So HN can be written like this, and uh, then HN is equal to 0 0.2 to the power n uh, into un plus un minus 1, right? and that will result HN equals 0 0.2 to the power n into un plus 0 0.2 to the power n u n minus 1. Right? Then HN is equal to 0 0.2 to the power n u n plus c plus 0 0.2 right into 0 0.2 into n minus 1 right so why we are writing uh, 0 0.2 n to the power n minus 1 into u n minus 1 uh, why we are writing it like this is then we can apply the uh, property right because uh, x n minus n naught is a transform is equal to is that to the power minus n naught into hz right so we can apply that property so it, hz will become right? hz will become 1 over 1 minus 0 0.2 into z to the power minus 1 right plus 0 0.2 into z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.2 into z to the power minus 1 right so so uh, hz we can write 1 plus 0 0.2 z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.2 into z to the power minus 1 
and the region of convergence is magnitude of z larger than 0.2 right so we have found hz right so then we can find gz gz is equal to 1 divided by hz right so this is 1 minus 0 0.2 into z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.2 z to the power minus 1 right so by looking at this ROC, it should be magnitude of Vz larger than 0 0.2 right? in order to overlap with the ROC of Hz. Right? Uh, so we can understand the ROC of Hz is magnitude of Vz larger than 0 0.2. So for Gz, ROC should be magnitude of Vz larger than 0 0.2 in order to overlap with the ROC of Hz. Uh, let's say magnitude of Vz less than 0 0.2 so that will not overlap with the ROC of Hz therefore ROC of Gz is magnitude of Vz than 0 0.2 right? so by taking that term and taking the inverse transform of, of Gz you can find what is Gn Gn is Gn you will find it as minus 0 0.2 to the power n un plus minus 0 0.2 power n u n minus 1 so here we will see the feedback system right we will see the feedback system uh, uh, so the main objective of using uh, feedback system is uh, let's say there can be uh, systems uh, that is unstable by but by applying by applying uh, uh, or by adding a feedback system what we can do is we can make it uh, stable right we can make it stable right so first we'll take a look at what is happening in the figure right so in this figure you will have xn right then you have a block of addition right so xn it is plus and the thing that uh, the value coming through G Z you can see it there's a minus sign right so that is an ad addition block so then the resultant will be fit to H Z right H Z right and the output of H Z is Y N right so understand output of hz that is yn and what is the input to gz is it is also yn right so the block at the right hand side that is not an addition and addition block it just take the value to gz right so what is the output of hz it is yn right um, the output of the system is yn right so you can see in. output of uh, HZ, HZ is YN and output the input to GZ is also uh, uh, the input to GZ is also YN right but uh, let's let's consider this with entirely with the uh, time domain representation right time domain representation so we will see we will see um, uh, in mark. so input to G in time domain g n the time domain as h n right so input to g n input to g n is y n right so what is the output of g n output of g n is y n convolution with g n right that will be the output of g n right and and it is fed that addition block S minus so they are the thing that coming to this additional block uh, additional block uh, through Vn is it is minus Vn conjugate uh, sorry Vn convolution with Gn right and through that additional addition block we are giving Xn as well right so therefore what be the output from this addition block that will be xn minus right xn minus 
yn canlwys yn ddig i n. So, gwaethi bydd i'n dwyd. Yn bwyd dwyd mes x n minus y n canlwys yn ddig i n. That is yn bwyd dwyd h n. So, how can we find the output of h n? Output of h n will be what is the output of h n? As I have told you, it is y n y n, that we apply this input, what will be the output of uh, h n? Output mm, will be, output of h n will be, um, uh, convolution of the input with h n. So what is the input of h n? That is x n minus y n convolution on g n and the entire thing convolution with h n that will be the output of h n right? and that output is equal to y n right? because output h n is y n and by using the using in other means it can be represented as x n minus y n convolution g n and the entire thing convolution with h n so both are equal. Right? So therefore, can see in this line, y n is equal to x n minus y n convolution with g n and the entire thing convolution with h n. Uh, <clears throat> then uh, by taking this uh, transform of this, you can get because uh, uh, convolution will become a multiplication. So it will become y z is equal to x z minus y z multiplied by g z into and everything into h z right then you can write y z equal h z x z into h z minus y z into g z into h z right uh, then therefore uh, y z into by taking y z out you can write 1 plus g z into h z is equal to x z into uh, h z and therefore uh, y z divided by uh, x z we can write this, that is equal to x z divided by 1 plus g z into x z so what is uh, q z q z is the transfer function of this system that means by taking input as the x z and the output as the y z y z divided by x z uh, so for this entire system so there are two transfer functions h z and g z uh, g z but q v z is the transfer mm -hmm. function of the entire system uh, the entire system is system is uh, where we have uh, input as x n uh, and output as y n so q is a, it is equal to y z divided by x z right so so you can see uh, uh, let's say the system previous system was only with x z but by adding this uh, uh, feedback feedback system which is uh, so not feedback system by adding g z we have made it as a feedback system. So the transfer function of the feedback system is QZ that is equal to HZ divided by 1 plus GZ into uh, HZ. So, so in, in here, right, in here, definitely, definitely, uh, definitely this transfer function right, is different from hz right, because it is hz divided by 1 plus gz into uh, hz so we will see this example right, uh, what, what is happening in this example is so you are given the system hz right, hz is equal to 1 divided by 
1 minus 0 point, 1.7 into set to the power minus 1 with region of convergence magnitude of this set larger than 1.7 right so <coughs> so uh, by looking at this system what we can directly say is here in this system in this system uh, the, uh, the region of convergence is is it larger than magnitude of this is larger than 1.7 right so does this include the unit circle the region of convergence it will not include the unit circle because uh, unit circle is at magnitude of this at equal 1 but the region of convergence of this system is magnitude of this is larger than 1.7 therefore it will not include the unit circle and therefore the system HZ that is unstable right so can you understand that uh, the system is unstable that HZ system is unstable right so so therefore we will see what will happen if we add uh, feedback network right feedback network uh, feedback network means that is GZ and GZ is equal to K right K is a constant larger than 0 so G is at right, it is G is at and the G is at and G is at is equal to K, right? Like that. And uh, from the previously obtained result, we can then what is Q is at, right? So what is Q is at? Q is at is <coughs> Y is at divided by X is at and that is equal to H is at divided by 1 plus G is at into H is at, right? So, what we have to do in here is we have to substitute for HZ and GZ, right? So, how can we substitute for HZ? HZ is 1 divided by 1 minus 1.7 into Z to the power minus 1, right? Then, the denominator will be 1 plus GZ is K and HZ is 1 divided by 1 minus 1.7 into z to the power minus 1 right then you can simplify right then you can simplify so after the simplification what we are getting is q is at as 1 divided by 1 plus k we'll take that as in a bracket because that will contain the values without z right so 1 plus k minus 1.7 into z to the power minus 1 right so so uh, if we find if we find uh, the poles of q z right so poles of q z means the values of z that will make q z infinite right so what is uh, what is the what is the there will be only one pole in here and that pole is equal to uh, is at equal 1.7 divided by 1 plus k right so by creating 1 plus k minus 1.7 into z to the power minus 1 equal 0 is at is equal to 1.7 divided by 1 plus k right so in order q is said to be stable right in order in order q is said to be stable what should happen right what should happen uh, in order to this become stable right this become stable this pole right this pole should be let inside the unit circle right should be inside the unit circle so, so inside the unit circle means this 1.7 divided by 1 plus k in magnitude that should be less than 1, right? That should be less than 1. So, this pole should be inside the unit circle. So, 1.7 divided by 1 plus k, this magnitude that should be less than 1. That means, that means if we simplify this thing, so that will be k is larger than 0.7, right, 0.7. So, therefore, 
we have un 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 understand that uh, this then what we are getting means k should be larger than 0.7 right so if we choose any constant value k is larger than 0.7 right k is larger than 0.7 0.7 for g z the system will be stable right so it will make the system uh, stable uh, because because the roc of the system will become magnitude of z larger than that uh, pole so therefore uh, the pole is inside the unit circle and when the ROC is magnitude of is larger than that pole, uh, the pole will be inside the unit circle, and the ROC is included uh, uh, the unit circle as well. Therefore, uh, this new system, right? After adding so G, this new system will become uh, will become. Uh, stable uh, system.